the meditations that you do are actually really cool. Do you have like a process of like how you kind of develop that? Thank you. I just tap into flow state. Yeah. I just get deeply relaxed myself and I just guide myself through the meditative process. I feel like what does my brain want to hear at this point to help me to go into that state? What's the question I could ask my brain right now that would prompt my imagination to be able to explore whatever it is I want to explore? And so I really go super intuitively. There's probably people who've studied the exact right words that you need to say and all this stuff, but I just do it very organically. And when I tap into flow state, for me, flow state feels like very little conscious thinking is required. I surrender to, you know, what to whatever kind of would be the best, most powerful message to just flow through me. And those are always the best ones. And I'm very happy that people love them. I read the comments and people, you know, some of my meditations are people's favorites. So yeah. I think it's a pretty good strategy because you can't be too forced and artificial with it. I've listened to some meditations before and have to switch them off after a couple of seconds just because it doesn't quite, you know, it's a very gentle process getting someone into it into a meditative yeah. state you've got to help someone to feel safe to feel relaxed and just to say enough not too much to prompt the right thoughts and emotions yeah it is a very delicate balance when doing it that's why i was curious on your process but i think that's like a an amazing way that you're able to do that do you have any tips for people on how to kind of enter into the flow state like or anything that you do or did you get in there yourself? I think it takes practice at first to um, get a feel for when you are in flow state and when you're not in flow state. Everybody enters flow state at some point. It's not like something that only some people can access. Like we all do it probably every day. Mm -hmm. And so I think it would be useful for people to identify when do I go into flow state? Like it might be when you're, if, if someone's a creative person and they're like jamming on the piano or they're doodling and drawing or they're going for a run and they like, they don't even remember the last mile that they just ran. Do you know what I mean? Or sometimes when you're driving in your car and you're like, who drove, who yeah. was driving just then, you know? And it's sort of like your sub, your conscious mind takes a back seat and your subconscious mind just leads the way yeah um or even you know going into being in, mindful in in tasks it can sometimes be like that other times when it comes to how do you get into flow state when you're speaking when you're recording when you're doing a meditation i the way that i got there was no shortcuts doing the reps practicing mastering my ability to use my voice to communicate to speak and once you, like with any skill, first it's very conscious. And then when you've mastered it, your conscious mind doesn't need to be involved in the process. Taking it back to driving again, or maybe it's different in America. I don't know whether you drive with stick, like manual, or even either way, like when you first learn to drive, there's like yeah. so many things you've got to remember. When you first learn to ride a bike, it's so, you're so in your head about it. And then once you have mastered it, you can do it without even thinking. Yeah. And it's scary to then take that concept and put it into like pressing record and going into flow state. Yeah. But it's possible. It's possible with practice. And I think the practice leads to a, a buildup of self-confidence. When you can trust yourself that you can press record and you trust that whatever is going to come out of your mouth, thoughts just in, in, your, in through the top of your head and out through your mouth. That's kind of like how I picture mm -hmm. it. When you trust that like, that's going to be amazing. Yeah. Then you, you don't get in the way. You don't get in the way of the magic. Your conscious mind doesn't complicate it and doesn't get uh, in the way of that. Yeah, exactly. Getting out of your own way, practicing that specific skill set, whether you yeah. said on the piano or you're playing tennis or you're playing golf you're going to want to practice that specific skill to get in flow state with that specific task yeah. or activity so 
that's great though that you're able to do that i mean it, it comes through because that's why it feels really genuine is that you know you're really like you said you're talking to yourself and a, a lot of people will say you know sometimes the thing that you your intuition's guiding you and the, the information that you needed at the time there's a reason why maybe you're getting called to do that maybe other like other people need that as well so yeah i think that that's like a really definitely cool, yeah a really cool approach to that um that's that's the key with a lot of the videos i create when i feel like it's something that you know sometimes when you're like would anyone else care about this or is this just a me thing i trust that you know what the people who need to hear this will find it yeah there's been and that's often an intention i set before i create a video